Hello everyone. Back again on my channel. I will share tutorials. How to log in with Google so here. I will press the Google button and it will automatically redirect to the pop-up. Which automatically opens the default browser on your computer. And ask you to log in with email. And if already logged in. Data will appear. Such as the login email name. Access tokens user ID, and others. You can find and explore that data. You can use that data to log into applications that use OAuth, and now, we try to make it. Here, all we need is client ID and client secret, which you can get from the Google console, and I will create a button, navigation to direct to the login process. And here, you have to enter any port, but must be the same, and cannot be changed. So I set it to 8550 only. Likewise when registered on the Google console, with the same port. And you have to run this application, with no root status, and with normal users. And now I will get client ID and secret from Google console. So let's go to the Google console. Here select the web application. And for the URL make sure localhost. If you are still debugging your app. And if it has been released to production. So don't use localhost anymore. And the port must be the same as in the code that we made before. And for the redirect URL, you please equate as I made here, so that no errors occur, when you try to log in with Google later. And after that we managed to get the client ID and secret.
and on redirect URL. Please do the same as you did on the Google Console earlier, so that it matches what is in the code with the Google Console. And here, namely the listening process, or after your Google login is successful, then we will receive a login information, like usernames, email, access tokens, and user ID. So we will display all of them in a container, so that you can see it. You can use access token information for cases of making applications that require login. And last process, i.e. register your function name, on the on login page. Actually the name of the function is free up to you, and do not have to be on login. And now I will try this application. And if you are still having trouble in getting errors or discrepancies with this tutorial, please comment below. Thank you.